Hello everyone, this is Madhav Aroda. I hope you all are fine. And once again, you're most welcomed to my YouTube channel, Listen Kahania. Uh, guys, the story that I have brought for you today is about a small girl, small nine-year-old girl. Her name was Nehu. And uh, Nehu was from a village. And she has completed her fourth class and to move on to the further studies or to go for fifth grade she has to go for a school in city now her parents decided to send her to the school in city and as she was a brilliant girl she got admission in the school in a very reputed school of the city she got admission and she was very happy she was very excited that I will be able to see a big school, a different school than she used to see every day in her village. Now she was waiting for her bus. Now her bus comes and she sits in it and she was very excited and then she reached finally to her school. And as she stepped off from the bus, she saw the huge buildings there, huge buildings. And she was very impressed. She thought that now she will work very hard in study. Now, as I told you that she was from village, so she was wearing simple clothes while other students were wearing pretty gorgeous fashionable clothes now she was looking very simple and unique her simplicity was shown there now what happens the other students started making fun of her but finally by asking the direction of her class she went to her class and she sits there the other students were talking about her, laughing about her, but she did not care about the words of students. Now finally the teacher comes in and she introduces Neha, Nehu uh, in front of the whole class. She called Nehu that Nehu please come on the stage. Now she came there and the class teacher introduced that she's a brilliant girl and now she will study with you all so please cooperate with her so Nehu went there and the teacher had already made a surprise test for the students so the teacher said uh, students now I am here and I am giving you a test paper in which it is a surprise test in which you all have to write the seven wonders of the world all the students were uh, happy because they had already studied this topic before a week now the teacher said to the students you please write you have 10 minutes all the students were writing very fast very fast but Nehu was writing very slowly by thinking that what are actually what are actually the seven wonders of the world now what happens the before 15 minutes all the students have given their test paper to the class teacher except Nehu she was still thinking and writing the teacher went to the Nehu and said that uh, I know that you have come today do not worry these students have learned these seven wonders of the world before do not worry you will also learn it is your first day do not worry but finally she wrote and gave the paper to ma'am he ma'am please take it I have written and she also said ma'am there are so many wonders in the world I was thinking that which one should I write which one should I write but finally she wrote and gave the paper to her madam now as the madam was reading, reading the test papers uh, she was very happy that all the students have given the correct answer and uh, she had taught very well 
the students wrote Taj Mahal, the Great Wall of China, this and that, and the teacher was very happy. But at last, finally, the test paper of Nehu came in the hand of Madam, and she read it. Do you want to know what was written in that test paper? I will tell you. I am here to tell you. So it was written that the seven wonders of the world are to be able to speak, to be able to see, to be able to hear, to be able to love, to be able to laugh, to be able to live, to be able to enjoy. These were the things, these were the wonders of the life that was written by Nehu on the paper. The teacher was stunned. She was shocked, astonished, surprised. And the class was in silence. There was a silence everywhere in the class. A girl from the village taught the whole class about the real wonders. What are actually the real wonders of the world that has been given by God to all of us. I hope you like my story. For more such stories, stay tuned. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.